Hey, Safer here with another episode of Based on a True Story, this time Argo. It's actually a great movie and the discrepancies aren't that horrendous. You have to love the romping good time this one is. The best parts of this movie are when the CIA is setting up a fake film. Best of all, they use the real scripts, props, and advertisements from the actual production. Also, the whole using old 16mm film in some places to represent home video is brilliant. That being said, let's get to what's wrong. The six people who escaped did not get ignored or blocked by the British Embassy. They were blocked by protests they couldn't get past. People in Britain were pretty outraged about that depiction. The six did not go straight to the Canadian consulate right after being blocked. Instead, they went to people's houses or apartments five different times before ending up at the consulate. The movie does not show the significant amount of work that the Canadian representatives did to secure the six people. Two important Canadian characters are never even shown. Perhaps this is a bit of an overcompensation. Since the CIA's involvement was completely secret when the mission was publicized, it was made to seem that the Canadians were solely responsible for the exfiltration at the time of its publication. In either case, some Canadians are fairly angry about that part not being shown now. Tony Mendez did not meet the six all alone. He had another person helping him in the exfiltration. It's understandable, but the movie puts all six people in the same place when this was never the case. They moved about and kept separate in order to evade suspicion. There was no contrivance to make them go into town. The confrontation at the marketplace, getting stuck in a protest, and the whole purpose of scouting for locations is completely fictitious. That's a lot of the movie that's in there just for stupid dramatic purpose. They could have just focused on the Canadian part in all of this, instead of making up this whole side quest. The mock interrogation did not happen as depicted. A house sitter volunteered to dress up in military fatigues and did it himself, rather than Mendez. The emotional part where the mission is called off at the last minute and Mendez has to plead for the reinstatement is falsified. The mission was approved the whole time. Instead, the movie could have focused on the fact that Mendez woke up 45 minutes late. That was probably stressful enough. No one was held up at the airport. There were no last minute ticket approvals, no detaining or interrogations, no problems with the yellow copy, nor any involvement with the Ministry of Culture. That's all just added for dramatic purpose. Some of the making up stuff to add suspense is alright, but they take it a little too far in this movie. Ben Affleck, who was the director of this movie, should have focused more on the fake production that the CIA made. Heck, the actual studio had 26 scripts submitted to it, including one from Steven Spielberg himself. That stuff could have been pretty fun. But the movie's fun anyways, if lacking just a little bit of accuracy. So, thanks for watching. Tell me what other Based on a True Story movies need busting in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some previous episodes. I'll see you next time.